Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, uh, well, we do have questions on Windows 10, of course, where a lot of people are thinking, well, I'm going to continue using Windows 10. But I have questions of what exactly does that mean? Uh, simply, you know, um, and also questions about eventually when it expires in 2025 and is that date fixed in stone? And so here's the thing. Um, first of all, there is one thing to consider and it's the fact that Windows 10 is here and it is a good operating system and moving forward it's still going to continue working. You will have the regular updates that are scheduled that's pretty much what's happening so for example tomorrow um, we will be July 6th so um, that means next week, it's uh, next week, we're going to have Patch Tuesday on July 13th. So until then, uh, that's the way it's going to be. Patch Tuesday on the second Tuesday of the month. Then the third or fourth uh, week, there's going to be bug fixing updates. So two small updates, two small cumulative updates every month. One for patching the security updates. One for uh, the um, one for the um, you know bug fixes uh, that is going to continue on. What we aren't sure and what Microsoft doesn't talk about is the future updates of Windows 10. We had for a while two feature updates, then one feature update, one cumulative update. Now we've been pretty much at cumulative updates, and we think that uh, what's coming this fall is also a small cumulative update for 21H2. So that means that we might be staying at just small cumulative updates, which is I think is fine for most people. What happens in 2025? So October 14th, 2025 is the last security update that will be available for Windows 10. Is that fixed in stone? Certainly not. We've seen in the past, like with Windows XP, for example, that Microsoft has extended the uh, security updates because there's a lot of people on Windows 10, or on Windows 10, on Windows XP, and, you know, that's not impossible that it could happen if people stick to Windows 10, that they extend that deadline. A lot of you have been uh, coming back to me with that phrase that they gave at some point when uh, someone at Microsoft had mentioned, um, you'll have updates for the lifetime of the device. Uh, that's kind of doesn't say anything because in reality the deadline is really October 14th 2025 it's not technically the lifetime of the device it's kind of weird the way that they worded there and um, the official end date is really October 2025 is my computer going to stop working no what's happening is it's going to be like Windows 7 your computer still continues to work, but it doesn't receive security updates, which means it's more and more vulnerable on the Internet because of all the security flaws. Uh, like I said, it's not impossible they would extend it. We don't know. We'll know only, you know, near that date, If depending on how many people are still on Windows 10, how many people will still be lose, using uh, legacy hardware, for example, that still works and that cannot upgrade to Windows 11. Uh, so that's going to be something that might happen. We don't know. Um, we'll know only when we get close to that period. I want to stress out once again, for those of you saying, well, you know, this six-year-old computer I have works fine. Yeah, but in four and a half years, it's going to be more than 10 years old. You will have probably moved on to something else. And I think that's the focus where people should have and not the focus of in the immediate time now, my computer is not working. When somebody posts, oh, well, you know, look at that, hundreds of million computers are useless. They're not. Windows 10 is still working. There's absolutely nothing useless there. It's the way it is. It works. And you can continue using Windows 10. So that's something to understand here is that there's nothing that renders your computer useless. It's still working in Windows 10. So that's where you need to focus. Um, you might not be able to run Windows 11, but you're still on Windows 10 and it's still a fine operating system and you're still continuing to use Windows. 
and the majority, like I said, of people that have these computers that are older, you know what? You'll have computers that are 9, 10, 11, 12 years old in 2025. You're not going to move on to Linux. You're going to move on to another computer some, at, at some point that will have probably Windows 11 pre-installed on it. Uh, and I think that's where the focus needs to be. People are focusing too much on the, oh, I cannot run Windows 11 today. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, honestly. You're just going to be on Windows 10. That's all. And it still works. And it's still going to let you do whatever you want. So that's where we need to focus. But uh, the future is, you know, uh, some newer PCs will have Windows 11. Some people will move on to Windows 11. The majority of users are probably going to continue using Windows 10. And if they move to Windows 11, it's because they'll have purchased a new PC at some point. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.